Cyberspace is an operational domain for the Coast Guard, and we operate within it just like we do at sea, in the air, and on land. So what is cyberspace? Think of three layers that stack on top of each other. At the bottom, the physical layer, then the logical layer, and at the top, the cyber persona layer. Now, the physical layer is the terrain. It's the people and the physical network components like computer network hardware, routers, telecommunication towers, industrial control systems, and fiber optic cable. The logical layer is where data resides in its digital format. We can't see it or touch it directly, but we know it's there, and that data informs how we think and make decisions throughout applications and operational technology, like the computer in your car or the machinery control systems aboard a national security cutter. The third layer is the cyber persona layer. That's the most complicated. Now, people are down here at the physical layer, but each of us and each organization has many cyber personas at the top layer. Think how many email addresses or logins you have on every website or app that you use. Each one's a cyber persona that represents you. And organization, groups, and nations have their own cyber personas too. This layer is what makes cyberspace so complex, not really the technology. So what makes cyber and cyberspace an operational domain? It's the fact that humans interact, cooperate, and engage in competition and conflict in this domain. That human interaction and cooperation, even the conflict, makes it a domain in the same way that sea, air, and land are. And what we do in the physical domains increasingly depends on what happens in cyberspace. So our operations must be tied together and synchronized across all of the operational domains. The end result of operations in cyberspace, just like the other domains, is ensuring that Coast Guard women and men can get the mission done and return safely.